Dark falling deeper. Cold nights, n i g h 너무 싫어. 기다린 뒤에는 너무 길어. 끝내 사랑이 싫어. 기대만 하는 것도 나. 
I think is key for if I'm gonna be wearing these to work every day. I always look out for something that's comfortable. Really, really excited to style these for the upcoming spring and summer season. I am planning on working in the summer for summer school, so these would be really nice in the summer heat. It'll be a nice alternative to sandals because sometimes I don't want to wear sandals to work, but yeah, really excited to style those. Yeah, I really love all of the colors that that Mavaya's shoes come in. They do come in a lot of colors. You could take a look at their website. I'll link it down below. But one thing that I really love is they they come in a variation of neutral colors, and that's if you know me, I love neutrals and I love wearing neutrals. So when I saw that their shoes came in a bunch of neutral colors i was all over it if you're interested in getting yourself a pair of vavaya shoes i'll leave a link down below as well as my discount code where you can receive 10 percent off your order continuing on the note of clothes and all the new apparel that i've been enjoying this spring season i actually have been straying away from buying new clothes this season. I actually don't think I bought any new clothes for the spring season, aside from things that I've thrifted. Uh, so like I mentioned before, I did a huge closet clean out, so I wanted to get rid of a lot of things, so I didn't want to be bringing in a bunch of new things if I'm getting rid of a lot, because the point of it was for me to cut down on the clothes that I own and what's in my wardrobe. So I've been finding a lot of joy out of loving what I already own. And I have thrifted like here and there, but there are first like some staple pieces in my wardrobe And if it's anything that I've bought at like a normal retail clothing store, they have been just basics I think I bought like maybe basic t-shirts like baby t-shirts from Uniqlo or tank tops from Uniqlo Uniqlo is a brand that I love buying basics from and I think that's pretty much it other than that I don't think I've bought anything new and i've kind of just thrifted ever since doing my closet declutter and i've found some really cute staple pieces for the spring and summer that i want to share with you guys so the one thing i love about thrifting is that it's really inexpensive and you can find some really good quality pieces at the thrift store for a really good price so a few things that i bought a while back i love to thrift specifically for button-ups blazers cardigans or jackets and i came across this beautiful silk button up that I believe would be really cute for the spring. It's like in this kind of greenish yellow golden color, which I feel like would be really cute with like a dark blue denim and like tied up in the front with like a belt. But I love myself a good silk button up. You could dress it up, you could dress it down, wear it with sneakers, but I was so excited to find this one. And it's a classic piece that I will own for I know, like a long time. This other piece is a linen blazer. It did come with shoulder pads, but I thought it just looked a little too bulky. So I took the shoulder pads out and I think it's just now just a really basic, nice linen blazer to like throw on any outfit to kind of dress it up or fazz it up a little bit. But loved this find and really excited to style it this spring season. Another one, this is a little different from what I'm used to wearing, but I feel like this style is kind of in right now. And that's another thing about thrifting is you can find a lot of like more of the trendier pieces at the thrift store. I feel like a lot of old styles are coming back in, but you don't have to spend a fortune on like these more trendier styles that are being sold by bigger retailers. And it's this cardigan here, a ribbed cardigan in this beautiful, blue color. It's like one of my favorite colors. It's like a muted blue and has one button at the front. It just came off. Yeah, it's just like a single button and that's it. But super excited to style this. Really interesting because I don't know how I would wear it since it is just like a single button <laughs> that buttons here. I'd probably maybe wear like a bralette or a crop tank top under it, but I think it'd be really cute for the spring and it's in a beautiful blue color that I love, like a bluish grayish muted color. And this was actually today I went to the thrift store and found some really fun pieces, but I got this again, another button up, but it's like a silkier material button up this really like muted greenish brown color. But what I loved about it was this design on it, kind of like a little paisley, reminded me of like the design on bandana. But I think it's really cute for the spring, this pattern but it's still like that neutral muted color and it's something that i don't really own but is a good 
basic to have so loved that and i was so so excited about this find because i've been into the color yellow lately and finding it in a staple button up i was so excited to find and it fits perfectly it's a large from the brand talbot and i was just so excited and i feel like yellow is gonna be like such an in color this season for spring and summer so really excited about that one and I usually always wear button downs in the spring and the summer because they're so easy to throw on. They're lightweight, they keep you cool, especially in this like cotton-ish material. Um, but yeah, really excited about that find. And sticking on the same color family of yellow, I found this sweater at the same thrift store and it's a v-neck. It's a medium from the brand Izod. Again, very loud for me who, someone who normally just wears neutrals. But again, this yellow color I'm obsessed with for the spring and summer season. And it was something that was thrifted. So it was it didn't break the bank or anything. I think this was like $7 at the thrift store. But I could picture this with like a denim, long denim skirt, white or a denim colored skirt. Um, maybe with a tank top and kind of like tied around my shoulders, but also wearing it if it does get like colder at night. Um, but I just thought this was really cute and I thought it was cute too because it was a is a v-neck so yeah super excited about this love this shade of yellow right now super cute and the last thing i thrifted something basic that i feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe but i've I've been on the hunt for like a nice fitting black blazer and I found this one. It's a little bit oversized on me and the pad padding I feel like can be a bit much and I don't think I can remove them. But I kind of liked the look of it with the padding. But it's this basic black blazer, more of a vintage brand. That I don't know, but it's in a size 16, so it's more oversized on me, but I love it. I feel like I can definitely wear this with like some denim shorts over the summer and spring, or again, like with a denim, long denim skirt. I know that's in right now, um, and it's actually something that I would buy new right now to add into my wardrobe because I feel like a denim skirt can last me in my wardrobe, and I just think it's so cute, and I love to style it for this season, so. If you have any good denim skirt recommendations, leave a comment down below for me. But other than that, that's everything that I've thrifted lately and have added into my wardrobe. I feel like I don't need anything else. I feel like I have everything that I would wear for the spring and summer already in my wardrobe. That's everything I've been loving so far for my fashion or wardrobe part for the spring and summer. Okay, moving on to the second thing I've been loving lately. I'm gonna talk about books. So I've recently been trying to read a little bit every day. I know it sounds funny because I know a lot of you like to read out there and probably read like way more than I do every day, but while working, also trying to work out every day, maintain a social life and I'm also in a credential program for schools. I'm trying to get my education credential to teach, but yeah, I've just been super busy lately, but I've been finding that reading a little bit every day, sometimes every day for about like 20, 30 minutes has been really calming for me. And some of the two books that I've been switching back and forth from is this Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zahner. It's a memoir of this woman's experience of losing her mother to cancer. And I just heard really good things about it and really wanted to read it. So I have been loving it so far. It's very detailed in like her descriptions of her memories of her and her mom in Korea. And even though I'm not Korean, but I am Asian, there's like some similarities in some of her memories and her thoughts processes as a young girl and I can relate to that although I can't relate to the part of losing her mom because I do still have both my parents but I just thought it would be a really nice read and something that it says here on the front deeply necessary to have that perspective from or like learning about someone's perspective on, on that part of their lives it's gonna happen to us one day or another even though I hate to think about that but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to read that book. Then another one here is 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. I've been pulling for this one a lot, but I have read a few of the essays in here and I feel like they're really good. I feel like they're very, very specific, specific things that you really didn't think about that really just kind of like change your perspective on a lot of things in life. So really just been loving this one to just kind of like nitpick which essays I'd want to read based on how I'm feeling in the moment but I really love, have been loving these two books lately and highly recommend 
choosing, you know, some books that can get your mind off of social media or other things going on in your life to kind of read 20, 30 minutes a day. I usually do it in the evening times. That's when I have time to do it and to kind of just wind down. But now that summer is coming up, um, I'm not gonna be going into work too much, but I'm planning on reading a lot more, spending more time in books and just doing things for myself. So yeah, really been loving these two this season lately. Sticking to lifestyle items, I wanted to mention a few beverage items that I have been loving this spring season and basically use like almost every day, if not like every week. But if you know me, you know that I love my beverages, especially coffee, matcha, all of that. And one thing that I like to always try and discover are new containers to hold my beverages. I'm usually always on the go and bringing my beverages with me everywhere. So I like to have options for my bottles and my containers for my beverages, my water and all that. But two containers that I did wanna specifically mention in this video are these two right here. I've literally used these probably every single day since I've gotten them. Probably not this one, not every day, because uh, this one is actually meant for iced coffee or iced drinks, but probably in the summertime, I feel like I'm gonna be using this a lot more than my Keep Cup, but if you follow me on Instagram already, you know that I use this Keep Cup every single day. And I do want it in more colors, I just haven't gotten around to ordering it in more colors just because I feel like I don't need it. But um, it's just super cute, super functional, looks nice, minimal, is sleek. And what I also love about it, now that I have a Breville um, Barista Touch espresso machine, is that it fits perfectly under um, the little spout where the espresso shot comes out. Because with my previous coffee containers that I used to bring to work every day, my Yeti, it actually doesn't fit under my espresso machine. So when I found that out, I was super sad, um, but then was happy that I found this and it actually fits perfectly. The only thing about the Keep Cup is that it doesn't keep my coffee warm until I get to work, but I've been okay with that. Just drinking my coffee in the car, finishing it before I even get to work, I feel like it's been fine. And then while I'm at my desk at work, I just drink water. But yeah, I've definitely been loving this Keep Cup and I feel like everyone needs it in their life. They do have insulated versions of the Keep Cup, but I just really like the look of the glass and the cork, but I think I might, since I love it so much, I think I might buy the insulated stainless steel one to keep my coffee colder for, I mean, hotter for longer for hot coffee. And then this one here is actually the Nespresso Nomad iced coffee container. And what I really love about this, I actually saw this on TikTok via my sister. That's what kind of urged me to get it, but it's a to-go cup where you remove the top and it's a straw where you can literally just sip your iced coffee. And it actually, I've tested it out. It keeps your iced coffee in your ice cold for a very long time. So it is insulated, even though it's plastic, but it's it works like really good. And another thing that I love about this is that the straw part where you put your mouth is covered from the cap so that no other outside germs are getting on the part where you put your mouth. And it's just really easy to just carry out, out the door to go and fits in your cup holder pretty easily. So yeah, been loving the Nespresso Nomad for iced coffee. I feel like I'll, I haven't been using this a lot lately, but it's been a favorite for the times that I have used it. And I feel like I'm gonna use it a lot more into the summer season when the weather does start to get hotter and I'll be opting for an iced coffee rather than a hot coffee in the mornings. If you like iced coffee, if you're an iced coffee drinker in the mornings and like to take your iced coffee on the go, I highly recommend this one right here because keeps it cold, covers the straw, and is super minimal and cute and has a cute little handle. On the note of iced coffee or iced lattes, I've been really loving a banana matcha latte. So what that is, is just matcha. This is the one I use, daily matcha from the Republic of Tea. I get mine from World Market, but you could probably find it this on Amazon. And then this is the Bing Ray banana flavored milk. It's a Korean brand milk that I just buy at H Mart. I know they have bigger containers for this, but at the H Mart that I went to, they only had like the smaller boxes that came in a pack of six and they look like this. I wanna find the containers, like the bigger containers of it, just so I 
don't have to like pour the milk out of this small box, but I've yet to find it. Comment down below if you know where to find them. Yeah, so I've been making that lately and it's been really, really good. I've posted a reel about it on Instagram and I actually, this, I'm not gonna take credit for this idea. I got this idea from Frasia Park. She's a YouTuber that I recently discovered and in her video, she made a matcha latte using the Korean banana milk and I, I was, it just sounded delightful and I had to try it. So I tried it and I'm never going back to regular matcha lattes, but it just gives a different kind of sweetness to it. And I feel like if you like bananas, if you're also a matcha fan, you should try that as well. We're gonna be moving on to some beauty and skincare favorites. I have quite a few, but I feel like I've been getting into a lot of new skincare lately, as well as new makeup. Let's start off with skincare because I feel like my skin's been on a really nice streak right now where, I don't know, like this, usually during this season, my skin like flares up because of my eczema, my allergies, but with the products that I've been using right now and the routines that I have in place, I feel like my skin's just been thriving. And I feel like it's due to these products that I've been using lately. To start off, I've been loving using a cleansing balm or cleansing oil. I don't have a specific one that I really, really love. I've just been rotating through a few, but this is the one I'm currently using and I've been loving it. The one that I've used before is the Polish Choice one. I just ran out of and I've actually gone through two of those but I kind of wanted to try something new just because I don't know I feel like you can't go wrong with a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil but this one has been really good lately and I like the smell of it too but this day dissolve cleansing balm from Versed I feel like any cleansing balm cleansing oil is key in like your makeup removal skincare routine at night but yeah I've been loving that for keeping my skin really hydrated as well as dissolving all my the makeup off my face to prevent any breakouts things that I've also been really really loving for my skincare routine I switch off from using like niacinamide and hyaluronic acid every night but combining the two from the ordinary niacinamide and hyaluronic acid i've had this in my skincare routine for a very long time and i have always repurchased these two and will always use them but key in my nighttime skincare routine and then every other night i like to use a lactic acid and this is the one that i've been loving lately it's, it's actually a sample size and i think i'm going to repurchase it in the bigger size but it's the squalene plus lactic acid resurfacing night serum and i loved it this exploited my skin really nicely but kept my skin hydrated without drying it out with the lactic acid because i did use the ordinary one i felt like that one was a bit too strong on my skin considering that i do have sensitive skin so i really liked this one it was a little bit more gentle for a chemical exfoliant um, and i think i'm gonna repurchase that in the bigger size and then one thing that i've just incorporated back into my skincare routine is retinol. I usually like to use retinol with the, my nice cinnamide routine, but this one from The Ordinary, I actually haven't tried it yet, so I, I'm, I just wanted to include it in my favorites though, just because it's retinol 0.5%, which I've heard is like one of the lower dosages of retinol for more sensitive skin. And I've used retinol before in the past, and that was the percentage I've used, which was 0.5%. And then it has squalene in it, which squalene for my skin has worked in the past and has proven to work on my skin in the past. So I feel like this product will actually be very good. Two products that I know have been pretty big on social media right now, which I've actually used in my skincare routine for a while already and have been and have repurchased multiple of these. And it's the Cause RX Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This is like probably like my fourth one that I've gone through. I feel like I have to have this in my skincare routine, but just wanted to mention it just because I know it's popular on social media right now and it's sold out everywhere. But yeah, this is something that I feel like is a must in the skincare routine for hydration in your skin. If you have really dry skin like me, this is is a, like a must have, like a no brainer. But really been loving this lately. I actually just started to get back into using the La Roche Posay Cicaplast Balm. Again, I, this is something I've used in my skincare routine in the past and have repurchased multiple times. But I stopped using it for a while because I had other moisturizers that I wanted to try out. But when I got back into using this because social media reminded me about it, my skin has been thriving. It's been not dried out yet like it usually is. It's been plump, moisturized, and I feel like it's really, really well under makeup. So if you haven't heard already, the La Roche-Posay Cica Blast Balm is a must for dry skin girlies like me. For sunscreen, I've really been reaching for 
these specific ones lately. I have other sunscreens in my collection that I also like to use, but during this current spring season, these are the two that I've been reaching for. This is the Naturium Dew Glow Moisturizer in SPF 50. This really does moisturize your skin. And when it says like Dew Glow Moisturizer, it really is like truly a moisturizer with that SPF in it too, which I really love because some other sunscreens are truly just the sunscreen and I still would have to use moisturizer with. But I do still use moisturizer, but with this on top, I feel like it gives me double the moisturization plus the SPF, which I really love. And it does really leave, leave you with a dewy glow to the point where I'm like actually shiny. But I kind of like that just because I have really dry skin. So underneath makeup, this looks really beautiful. And I've just been loving this for every day. Next is the e.l.f. Skin Sun Touchable Woe Glow. I really think this is a dupe for the Super Goop Glow Screen, but just a little a tad bit less, a little less glowy than the Super Goop one, which I kind of like. I've really been reaching for this for like, if I want to be a little bit more glowy as a base for my makeup or just on its own on more of my lazier makeup, no makeup days. Also been really loving the Ola Henriksen True serum i know this is a really popular one for a very long time this is my first time trying it and from like the past few weeks that i've been trying this i've loved it it smells like oranges which i love but also works really really well and i was lucky enough to pick this up during the sephora spring savings event so saved a few bucks on this but i feel like i'll be repurchasing this in the future because this is a staple in my skincare routine the vitamin c and i love this specific vitamin c another thing that i feel like has been really helping my skin out lately especially my lips they've just been recently getting really dry lately but what i found to be really helpful are these two lip balms and it's of course the Laneige sleeping mask which I've had in the past before. I've had the vanilla flavor and I saw that they had this like a gummy bear flavor which I feel like smells a lot like grapes which I'm a huge fan of. I love grape flavored anything. I know it's not the most popular flavor out there but I actually love the smell of like grape flavored things and the taste of grape flavored things. So I was really excited to find out that this actually smells like grapes more than gummy bears in my opinion. And then I've also really been loving if I don't really feel like having a scent on my lips. This is a really good one. It's a scrub and a balm in one. So on the top here is a lip scrub. It's the Dr. Pawpaw Scrub and Nourish duo um, and then on the bottom half a balm and this is a really good moisturizing balm for my lips that i like to put overnight as well after doing a little scrub on my lips to kind of exfoliate and i love how this just doesn't have a scent because sometimes i could be sensitive to scents and yeah, this just has been working really good for me lately and i like ten dollars at ulta all right moving on to some skincare tools that i've been loving my jade roller and my gua sha these are both from this brand called Derma Plus, which they're local here in the Bay Area based out of San Francisco. And I've just been loving using these in my skincare routine. I like to use a jade roller when I do um, my face masks actually, which is another skincare item that I've just been loving. Face masks have been a big thing in my skincare routine lately. These are the ones that I currently have stocked up in my face mask collection. All right, moving on. This one's a really small little skincare item, but this flowery cuticle oil that I just picked up at Ulta I've been loving using a cuticle oil every night and then like putting lotion over it, just kind of how they do it at the salon. And then waking up to like beautifully moisturized cuticles, I feel like helps make my manicure last a little longer or look nicer for longer. That's one thing that I've been loving in my skincare routine for my hands. And this isn't really a skincare item, more of a beauty item, but this is my absolute favorite scent for the spring and summer. So I've had this in the past before and kind of, and I literally finished the whole bottle. I haven't repurchased it since cause I, it's a scent that I like wearing specifically in the spring and summer, but it is Nest Citrine and it's just, so refreshing when you put it on you just feel fresh you smell good it's like that perfect spring and summer citrus smell with a hint of floral in it which i really love okay but. so the last thing on my list of spring favorites which is makeup items i have quite a few things that i've been loving for makeup lately and i wanted to start off by mentioning 
these two items that I've recently got on Amazon. So this one is the Super Soft Paw Paw Wonder Blender, which I heard about from my one of my favorite YouTubers, Jim Mary. She said this alone is better than the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and then the normal Beauty Blender Beauty Blender. And I totally agree. So yeah, this works so good. Way better than the Beauty Blender, way cheaper than the Beauty Blender, and works way better than the Real Techniques one. And I feel like you get so many for a fraction of the price. I've been loving these, loving. And I feel like you guys need to definitely try this and order a pack for yourselves. The other thing I've been really loving, which I know have been getting big over social media and TikTok, are a little triangle puff to apply powder. And I don't think I'm gonna go back to using a brush to apply my powder so uh, what i love about the triangle puffs are you can use the pointy end to apply your powder underneath your eyes and then the wider end to apply powder all around your face but it's just been making powder application so much easier and blends it out beautifully so highly recommend those products for makeup application i'm never going back to anything else all right and the next two items that i wanted to mention two foundations that I've been loving is Charlotte Beautiful Skin Foundation and then the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. These are the two mount foundations that I've been using every single day since getting them and they just look beautiful on the skin. They keep my skin moisturized and I feel like they're in the perfect shades too. I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin one today and oh my God, so good, so gorgeous. It makes your skin look flawless, airbrushed. I really like the airbrush flawless foundation for special events so when i saw that they had this one the beautiful skin foundation i feel like it's better for a more everyday look because i like the flawless skin one for special events because it has that matte finish this one's more of a dewy glowy finish and it still looks beautiful on the skin those are my two favorite additions lately for the spring season as for powders I've surprisingly been loving these two. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. And then the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Powder for under my eyes. These were great. And they're drugstore items and fraction of the price of some of the more expensive loose powders at Sephora. But granted, I do have my favorites from like Sephora, the Givenchy powder, as well as the Laura Mercier. Love those powders. But I specifically wanted to mention these just because they're really good loose powder finds at the drugstore and they are beautiful. I'm using both of them today on my face and you can see that they blended out nicely with that powder puff. I'm loving it and you guys should try it too. Highly recommend. All right, moving on to my next beauty or makeup item fave are these MAC Glow Play blushes. Holy crap. I have been reintroduced to these lately by Alana Davis Davidson and she's one of my favorite beauty gurus, beauty YouTubers here. But I've had these blushes in my collection for a while. I actually just purchased the Blush Please shade because of Alana Davidson, but I already had these two, which is the shade Cheer Up and Grand. And I forgot how gorgeous these blushes are. They are honestly a dream to apply. Like I love how balanced see they are on the inside and soft and they last all day it's what i'm wearing this one right now which is the shade blush please it's like a beautiful rosy pink nude everyday blush and then these other two are more of a corally pink shade that i feel like i'll reach more towards the summer season but love those blushes they last every day it's it gives a sort of like glow to your skin too as well it's not just a blush i feel like it acts as like a highlighter as well but not sparkly sheeny like it's more of a like a glow like shiny glow um if that makes sense other things on my makeup beauty faves are these bronzers. These are what I have been using for bronzing up my skin, contouring my skin. That's the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, which I know has been getting a lot of rave online for good reason. Blends out beautifully. It's so easy to blend. Gives like the perfect contour, but also like bronzed look. This one is in medium deep 
and I was just so impressed when I first applied it on. This has been a game changer in my makeup routine because I've never used to use like liquid or creams to contour, so slowly getting into that and I've been loving it. The other bronzer that I've been using and it's Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have it in the shade Deep Bronze and I got this because after I saw online that this is the bronzer that Sophia Richie Grange uses to get that beautiful glowy bronze to look. This has been a bronzer that I've had in my collection before but stopped using it after a while just because I had other bronzers in my collection that I wanted to use, but I quickly ran to the drugstore to buy this again just because I saw that <laughs> it's a bron bronzer that Sophia Richie Grange uses. I'm sure a bunch of other girls did the same that I did, but it's for good reason. It's such a beautiful bronzer and something that I could see myself repurchasing again and again and use constantly. The Rare Beauty Concealer, I forget the name of this specific concealer, but it is in the shade 280N. Love this for everyday use. It's blendable, it's lightweight, and doesn't crease. It's just everything that you would want in a concealer, and it's Rare Beauty. I feel like she's been doing really well with all of her products lately. It's like the only concealer that I've been reaching for lately, and I love it. Just love it. This mascara is Joelle Lash Up Rising. It's a drugstore brand and I feel like it's one of those waterproof mascaras that actually doesn't budge or transfer. So other waterproof mascaras that I've used in the past, they've actually transferred. This one doesn't. And that's the one thing that I love about this mascara. I don't really have that many mascaras that I use and this is like use the only one in my collection that I really repurchase over and over. So really been loving that. And the last thing I wanted to mention is this lip duo that I've been wearing every day. It's MAC Whirl Classic Lip Liner and this The Cream Shop X Hello Kitty Lip Oil. I've mentioned this on my Instagram stories already, but it's just the perfect nude pink in the lip oil that I've never seen before. And it actually moisturizes my lips. These two together just give like the perfect nude look on my lips. It's what I'm wearing today and I've been absolutely obsessed with that combo. So those are all of my makeup favorites lately that I've been using on the daily basis. Hopefully you found some of your favorites, discovered some new favorites, or some recommendations through that list. Thank you all for tuning in to this YouTube video. I know it's been a really, really long time since I've uploaded from my last video, but life just got in the way and I'm happy to be back. Summer's coming up, so that means I have a little bit more time on my hands to make more YouTube videos for you guys. Thank you again for tuning in to hear about some of my favorite items this spring season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found some new items that you might wanna try, or maybe you share some of the favorite items from this video. Everything will be linked down below as usual. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.